So let's talk a little bit about integrated IT and pulling these things together. So we have sort of a traditional code development and deployment tooling we talked about with VMs, bare metals, managing operating system, and then sort of CI, CD pipelines and code repository, managing your application code build and the CI, CD aspects of it. And together with this hybrid uh, application automation, we see that the best kind of solution is this hybrid where you're looking at uh, OpenShift to provide the, the common abstraction layer on the infrastructure for your application deployments, and then Ansible for the assistance in rolling out uh, the infrastructure and staying current with the uh, networking and various security policies as well. So this um, continuous delivery pipeline with, with Ansible and OpenShift is one way of showing how we can uh, you can take and build out these environments and continue to monitor to them and, and roll them out with, uh, with ever changes in your application itself, within configuration, uh, within changes of security policies. And then one of the things introduced in OpenShift 4 is this, this concept of a, a day two operations or an operator that will allow your application to, uh, or applications on the platform to self-manage themselves. And so this really allows you to focus on your own application code. You can, your applications can actually implement this as well, but it's a way to say, if I want to pick up a, let's say a Postgres database, and I want to deploy it as an operator back solution, I can have it fully manage itself, including security updates, uh, handling any uh, errors, uh, dealing with uh, uh, replication or dealing with uh, high availability and with certain uh, nodes go down and, and restoring and then continuing with the high availability. So all those things will allow uh, your application to uh, perform better and the platform to perform better. And just want to highlight that you can leverage, you know, through this operator SDK, a Go pro programming language through the SDK to, to do that, or you can actually leverage Ansible as, as that solution as well uh, built into that operator. And so together, Ansible and OpenShift make it easy to deploy and manage Kubernetes applications and native Ansible support via the operator SDK. And so as mentioned, that SDK can bring together Ansible, those playbooks, um, and, and watches files and then together provide that operator. So you can leverage, uh, if you've been using Ansible, um, you can leverage that, or if you want to continue to develop an Ansible, um, you can wrap, wrap those into the uh, operator SDK and then it can be managed by the operator lifecycle manager and get the best of both worlds there. And so before we looked at, you know, where you're looking to get your DevOps benefits. And so uh, if we kind of overlay something we talked about before is like there's a certain set of tools that can help with the you know traditional IT and the collaboration you know Ansible the the containers and the cloud IT out of automation and, and OpenShift and then bringing those all together to take a team and build a showcase app using um, sort of DevOps principles tools and platforms to support it that's where uh, we see that uh, a lot of our customers are getting success out of using uh, OpenShift and Ansible for these solutions. And so with that, um, I want to thank you for your time um, with uh, this presentation, and uh, I, thank you.